what's going on guys it's your boy Adjen back again for another outer plane video and for today we have a developer's notes in outer outer plane but this is official from gn proxon so we have here the developer's notes so hello masters this is monsu yun the producer of outer plane we are truly happy and grateful to have been able to officially launch the game on the planned date of may 23rd we would like to thank all our all our prayers players who have believed in us and shown us patience as for myself i have been hard at work since the official launch playing the game alongside everyone else and preparing for upcoming updates seeing so many players enjoy the game is really encouraging for us at the development team and we are working hard every day to continue developing the game at the same time we are aware of the various issues affecting the game such as bugs connection instability and other issues spread throughout different areas of content we take these issues very seriously and I would like to take this opportunity to apologize for any inconvenience you might have experienced. Currently, our team is in the process of preparing improvements for the game while working with Smilegate Megaport, our publisher, to review player feedback and statistics from the game. We hope to provide you with continued improvements alongside our planned dates. Today, I'd like to introduce you to some improvements and updates we have planned for the 7th of June. And beyond the topics discussed today, we'll continue to keep our eyes and ears open for player feedback to bring you a more enjoyable gaming experience. I really like when the game will uh, always uh, have a monthly deve developer's notes because uh, it shows you they want to communicate to its player base. That is why developer's notes are really important for me. And I really like that uh, the developers are doing this for us. So let us see what are the upcoming updates that we will be getting on June 7th. So it is uh, five days from now, which is pretty pog. So we have here the maintenance and update on June 7. So key improvements. Number one, improvements to recruitment. Mileage carry over and increase recruitment chance. Pog, right? Very pog. Mileage carry over is huge. This means that you can save your PT uh, to, to other uh, upcoming uh, hero that you want. Just like in Nike, because this one is something very similar to Nike, where you can save your uh, exchange tickets for uh, the future character. This one is really huge. Props. Props to the developers for giving this one. This one is really huge. Uh, mileage carryover will begin with the currently ongoing green and valentine drop rate up recruitments. And remaining mileage will not be converted into star's memory. This one is really, really pog. Okay. This one alone. This one this one update alone is uh, pretty huge, right? Uh, this one already makes up uh, that the game is going into the right, the right direction. Uh, number two. Improvements to hero pieces, regular events, and cost re-evaluation. Many players have brought up the issue of difficulty related to collecting pieces to transcend heroes, the shards. And we plan to prioritize looking into possible solutions and relaxing its difficulty. We plan to lower the cost associated with hero transcendence from where it was initially so that 6-star heroes become attainable with less resources and effort. Pog, they are, they are reducing the shard cost for upgrading your heroes' star rarity. Nice. Specifically, starting from June 7, there will be regular events providing increased drop rate for pieces and the pieces of certain heroes will be made available through upcoming event and content rewards. Uh, this one, I'm already looking forward to this one because some other gacha games has this type of event where some future character that is uh, featuring in the ongoing event has their shards available for free uh, that we can get. And then the value of 6-star transcendence will also be adjusted in order to progressively bring down their total cost in terms of time and resources. This one is really, really huge. Really pog. These changes are still a work in progress and we will provide additional details through a future notification. So this one will not be available, uh, the, C, the letter C, uh, in this upcoming maintenance. But it is still a, a really good uh, thing that they are informing us uh, ahead that they are planning to do this one uh, again we have a new car Woo! wow wowzers she's very gorgeous fuck man 
I've already spent my uh, summoned resources earlier trying to get dupe supreme and I got wrecked uh, on my uh, on my summon session that time <laughs> oh god fuck fuck me dude fuck me she's very pretty and the legs man the legs if you guys have been following me in my channel I am not uh, hiding that I am a legs enjoyer I'm I am a yeah I, I, I am a I am a degen Eternal is a charming yet deadly hero. So Eternal is the name of the upcoming uh, character. It is a fire element, mage enchanter. Finally, a, a strong DPS for the fire because currently fire has no really strong DPS. Valentine is an exception to that one because Valentine is broken. She's not a DPS but a really good support character. And other than Valentine, there are no other strong fire DPS in the game right now. Pog. Uh, wide range of powerful debuffs to enemies. So she is a debuffer. She can provide versatile support in battle with her debuffs that reduce defense and speed. So a defense breaker and a speed probably uh, an AOE debuff breaker. He's going to be a uh, very OP in arena if this one. Uh, if my hunch is correct, uh, an op an opener that can uh, reduce defense. Then followed up by a cleave like green. Then it's just GG. That is going to be a, a pain in the ass in the arena. So okay, we have guild raids. Guild raids are pretty common in a lot of gacha games right now. But I I, I already expected this one. But I don't know how they will implement guild raid. Um. I just don't want it to be the same as uh, the one in Epic 7 where you fight a world boss or something like that where you can just skip. That one is pretty boring, pretty mean, not gonna lie. But I hope that this one is not something like that. So in Guild Raid, you will cooperate with your guildmates to challenge powerful bosses and compete with other guilds over the course of two weeks to reach the top of the leaderboard. So this is a ranking guild event. So you should be joining a really strong guild if you want to get Probably uh, one of the best rewards in the game. There you will find some bosses called G Gia's Guardians and a main boss based on each since based on each season's team. You must work with your guildmates to first defeat the Gia's Guardians. Then use the Gia's you acquired to take on the main boss as efficiently as possible and reach for the highest score. Oh, this is going to be a leader ranking uh, event, an indirect PvP with the other players. Yes, nice. This season's guild raid will feature devout follower of scientific inheritance Maxwell. So Maxwell is the the raid boss uh, in this very first uh, guild raid. Pog. So developers gameplay tips: Working with your guild members, first defeat the Gia's guardians and make use of the various Gia's you acquire to help you in your fight against the boss. Scientific inheritance devotee Maxwell is weak against earth element heroes. Uh, why why they did not include the uh, Nova here? Noah is probably the best character to deal with this one because Noah is broken, guys. Event Dungeon. An Event Dungeon, the Reaper and the Gangster will be added. You will be able to check out a short story of the new hero Eternal and obtain various rewards. You will also be able to get a cute mascot character based on Eternal. So please make sure to enjoy this new content. So this mascot character is the pet system. I don't know but it's uh, that is my impression about this one. And probably we can get Valentine shards in this event because as you can see, Valentine is featured here and uh, uh, her gang of gangster or mafia is in the background, right? Yes. So improvements planned for are after June 7. We have received your feedback regarding the following issues and we plan to address them and make improvements as outlined below. We are planning to roll out these changes as quickly as possible but as these changes will require additional development, we would like to ask for your understanding in our being unable to specify an exact date for their implementation at this time. However, individual changes among these that can be implemented quickly will be applied as soon as possible. Following a review of overall content balance, we will provide the details of the timeline for each of these changes through a future notification. I don't mind waiting as long as you are informing us that you are doing something for the better. I'll take it. I'll take it as a big W. Yes. Outer plane is going in the direct, the right di direction. 
and I'm really loving it and that is why I am uh, still playing the game and I'm really having fun playing the game so changes to hero growth we have noticed an issue where team compositions become more stagnant the more gameplay progresses this has the potential to not only negatively impact hero balance but also increase the difficulty of account progression in order to allow players to more easily raise a wider hero pool and access a great variety of content we plan to implement the following changes increase income for growth related resources so yes golden xp and upgrade stone from dungeons will be slightly increased to alleviate their scarcity at a basic level because raising the character is really really expensive what about the books i'm i just want to know about the books at present due to max level being limited by upgrade stones uh yada yada this one is upgrade stones hero resource recall we will develop and implement a future allowing players to recall resources spent on hero growth that they wish to undo okay this one is pog because probably we can get uh the books the skill books that uh we got the oh we are letter d we plan to slightly increase the availability of lower tier skill books that can be found through the resource shop and infinite corridor this is what i'm talking about because right now i am gated by skill books i really have a lot of characters that i want to raise but even though i can raise them to fully max out the level 100 i cannot raise their skills because of the lack of skill books Changes to hero balance. We will be adjusting hero balance in order to resolve the issue of stagnating team composition and to improve the utility of underused heroes. Furthermore, we plan to adjust the balance of talismans that serve as the core of boss battle strategies. Should this process result in a nerf, we will be providing hero resource recall functionality at the same time and we will announce the details through an advance notice before proceeding with the changes. Our intended goal is to increase the pool of viable heroes for each area of content and as our vision for the game remains to allow for the leveling and gearing of heroes of each element to the requirements respective to each area of content, we will do our best to avoid nerfs that may cause player concern. So guys, Noah nerf incoming because Noah is just too broken. Probably they will change Noah. So that is what my gut is telling me that they will they're going to be nerfing noah so rather than carry out these changes in a rush we plan to carefully look into repercussions these changes may have in the game's overall combat furthermore we plan to continue with regular balance adjustments as part of our update schedule going forward in the nearest future this will happen in the form of buffs to two heroes whose utility has fallen greatly behind our expect rin buff <laughs> What do you mean, guys? Rin is already OP in PvP. They are, then they're going to be buffing Rin. I or I already launched a somewhat of a Rin showcase in my recent published video. Check that one out. Rin is very OP. Our initial intent was to allow players to take advantage of Rin's AOE attacks to easily progress through story mode in the early game and for her to become an effective main DPS against Par in the late game. As her current performance is falling behind relative to expectations, we will be giving her a buff. <laughs> they are looking Rin as a PvE monster, but Rin is not a really good uh, character in PvE. But she is a monster in PvP. Like, what are they smoking? They are giving Rin a buff, but I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> but it's going to be a nightmare in PvP. More and more. Alice. Our goal for Alice was her to be a hero whose moderate PB performance would be made up for by a stellar performance in PvP. As her usage rates her appear to be low due to issues with the priority gauge increase effect on her skill her 2 and her act activation chance of the effect on her exclusive equipment, we will be giving her a buff. I don't know what kind of buff they will give Alice. Maybe just raise her uh, speed stat to make her a really good... Uh, speed utility character i don't know changes to monster balance the mechanics we are aware certain monster mechanics that can pose too high of a hurdle will be we will be making changes accordingly uh, they are talking about the area 6 deck card it's really easy kesai it's really easy also the murge and stella if, if you just know the mechanics for this one you will not have a hard time my only problem is Sigma in Skyward Tower. As you can see here, Skyward Tower bosses that become a harder for players such as Sigma 
will have their difficulty re-evaluated and adjusted again. Because Sigma is a pain in the ass. It's all RNG. Changes to side stories. We have noticed an issue where players spend all of their side story entries through, par through peace farming and, and become unavailable to view the story. Changes will be made so that side story entries will not be expended outside of dungeons where pieces can be collected. So I'm glad to have been able to introduce myself to a developer's notes. I hope this post will help alleviate some of the inconveniences players may have experienced. Yada yada yada. Last but not least, we have prepared a small gift as a thank you to all players. So we are getting pre 500 ether. I'll take it, and uh, I will gladly take it. All of the things said here in the developer's notes. Outer play is going in the right direction, and I'm glad that they are doing this kind of things to the game. And more power to Outer Plane. And I think that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you can help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace.